So I'm getting Botox today and I actually already got it, but I want to talk about why I want to get it and this is something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time, like I'm talking years and for a while I was like, I don't need it. So I finally decided to just do it because I actually have been really good about my skincare routine and not buying things like in excess. I'm talking like really expensive products. I have a really simple skincare routine and I figured I would just invest my money into getting Botox instead of that because I'm actually fine just using simple products and things that are affordable. I just thought, why not? And I like don't even really have wrinkles now. And that is the one thing that like people always tell me, they're like, why do you want that? Like you don't need it and it's really just to prevent it. It's actually cheaper to get it before you have wrinkles than when you have wrinkles because you need more Botox. So that's why people get it in their 20s and I'm now 30, so I have started late, but I do have really good genetics, so I am lucky with that. And I just figured, why not try it? Because it does fade, it does not stay in your skin like filler, does not migrate. If I hate it, then I can just not do it again. Also, I've been doing makeup for like 10 years and I definitely have changed my makeup style and it's not as like fun, but I stopped wearing black eyeliner or winged eyeliner in general. And I did that because my eyes are hooded and there's nothing wrong with hooded eyes. I have made some videos that basically help people with hooded eyes like me do their makeup and now the makeup trends are changing and more accepting of different eye shapes and it's so much more diverse now so I'm not concerned about that I just know that my eyes are like going to droop and that's just you know nature like you can't avoid it so I figure while I am still kind of into makeup why not just do it let's see what happens if I get a little brow lift so yeah, I basically wanted this to just be lifted a little bit and therefore that would be pulling the outside of my eye. I don't know how much it's going to do that. We shall see. And also I lift my eyebrows all the time. Like when I put on mascara, when I'm wiping my face with a washcloth, I just always lift my eyebrows. I am so excited to see the results. So hopefully in one to two weeks, um, things will change. I can still move my face. It does feel a bit sore up there, like there's stuff in there because there is. So yeah, I will be taking some before photos before this is all done. My nurse also was so sweet. She was so gentle and I did ask her if I could film, but she was uncomfortable with it, which I completely understand. So I respect that. So I'm currently numbing my forehead because I'm concerned about how many pokes they have to do in the center. I know on the sides they do like one on each side if they go there, but for the center I've seen them do like a bunch. So that's why I'm doing that because I just hate needles and there's no shame in doing this. So yeah, hopefully it goes like really well and I don't feel that much pain. So you guys, I could not film, but I am in the car. I literally just got back. And as you can see, I have some dots, you know? So basically she did some along here. I have one up here somewhere, my eyebrow and other eyebrow. And on this side, you can see one of the other dots. And I do feel something up there. And I heard stuff along this one so yeah i cannot lay down for the next few hours this should go away in an hour and i cannot work out for 48 hours so that's about it the numbing cream was definitely helpful the eyebrow ones were not that bad so yeah i'm gonna go home and get myself ready because i actually have a dinner to go to so it's been about 45 minutes since i got the injections and my forehead feels pretty fine. It was quite sore for the first, like, I'd say 15, 20 minutes, and it felt uncomfortable. I felt a little bit woozy. I don't do many things that involve pain. I've never gotten any tattoos, but I have done laser hair removal. And that feeling of when you like come out of something that is difficult, like I had that feeling and I was just like, <laughs> 
hyped. I was excited. I did it. Oh my God. So the pain wasn't that bad. Of course I did numb myself on my forehead, but for the eyebrows, like she went basically right at the tips of my eyebrows to lift it. They weren't bad at all. The needle is the size of a lancet, like to use to prick your blood and test your blood sugar. And it wasn't horrible, but I think the forehead ones um, would have been really bad if I didn't numb myself because there were many of them. I think she did like four and then she went up here as well. So that was a lot. And I know that derma rolling hurts. So that's why I want to do it. Hey guys, so I'm back with my final update on the Botox. It's actually been five weeks since I first went in and it has been two weeks since I got a touch up and it wasn't exactly a touch up, I had to get more. So I got 20 units the first time I went and that was just in my forehead. And when I went back, I actually went back three weeks later because I was going to a wedding so you can't drink, all that stuff. So I went back three weeks afterwards and I got 10 more units right in the center right here in this muscle there are actually three muscles and apparently my muscles were overcompensating because obviously these ones were paralyzed so that is what was causing that chunk of muscle to be all scrunched right here and that was 145 i think they hiked up the price a little bit so next time i think i'm just gonna go for like a full 40 units and just get that extra 10 wherever else they think I should get it. So that's it for the price and what I ended up getting done. I am so happy with the results. It's so nice just knowing that I can't really scrunch up my forehead and I can still lift my eyebrows. But the one thing that I can't really do is make a proper angry face. Like this is me trying. <laughs> it's so weird. Sometimes this muscle actually starts twitching because my face is like what's going on it's not working but we're trying so yeah that happens sometimes but i still have expression as you can see i think the reason why my cheek muscles or one of these starts to twitch is because when you try to make an angry face all of a sudden you want to scrunch your, or scrunch your whole face and that's not really an angry face it's more of like a i'm disgusted face but yeah, I don't really make that face very often. If anything, I'm a person that raises my eyebrows and I'm very lucky that I didn't like have a deep line at my age. Here it is up close. Like I can still do stuff. I'm just moving my face. Again, this isn't a video trying to convince anyone that they need Botox. I think aging is a privilege and however we decide to do it is perfectly fine. I've always been someone that loves watching surgery recovery videos and like all that kind of stuff like TMI and knowing about all these things but too scared to do them. There's still a lot of stuff that I'm so terrified of doing. Um, but like one thing that I keep watching is like thread videos and it looks so scary, but I wonder, I'm like, will I get there one day? I really don't know. But anyway, this video is just about Botox. I don't know what the future holds for me. I do know that I do want to get this again. I don't know if it will be three months or six months. I really want to shoot for twice a year. We'll see how it fades and I will update you guys when that happens. I really have to keep an eye on it. I will let you guys know when that happens and when i go back and get some more i just wanted to keep this like really open dialogue with you guys about what i'm doing because it is something that i feel like is a part of my brand for a long time i thought that my brand was not to do any of these um, enhancements but over the years my videos have been around having hooded eyes and doing makeup and techniques and stuff and this is one part of having that kind of eye shape. It's the first thing that you will start to notice, I think, if you wear makeup because our eyes just have more skin. And I think that there is just a part of us that wants to have our old eyes back. And I think that's a big part of wanting to get this stuff done. It really is a part of like your mental health and just feeling a little bit better. And there's nothing wrong with getting this stuff done. I feel like I am rambling on. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out if you're curious about it. So that's it. I hope you're having a magical day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.